I'm John Gronk. And I'm Heather Clark. And we are Indigo. Today we're going to be talking about the Indigo Assessment. The Indigo Assessment is a psychometric assessment comprised of three different instruments. These instruments are... Behaviors. Motivators. And skills. So Heather, what does the behaviors portion of the Indigo Assessment mean to you? So the behaviors are what people see every day. They are the 20% of the iceberg that's above the water, right? So they are how you act at school, at work, with your friends, and they're what people would describe you as if they were asked. The behaviors portion of the assessment comprises four categories of behavioral styles. These include dominance, influencing, steadiness, and compliance. What do those mean, John? So our first behavioral style, dominance, means pretty much what you think it would. A highly dominant person, never backs down from a challenge, they like to be the leader of the pack, they might be particularly competitive and high pace. So someone who is high influencing doesn't necessarily mean they're persuasive. They are, however, typically friendly, outgoing, and people-oriented. They love to talk and work with others. Why can't you hear a pterodactyl pee? Because the pee is silent. People who are high steadiness tend to dislike change. So they tend to be patient, thoughtful, and they tend to not want to rock the boat. They like things as they are. Someone who is compliant uh, may be described as someone who reluctantly goes along. You see, compliance suggests that you uh, are not naturally trusting. You're a little bit antagonistic that way, but more reserved. So whereas our dominant person is going to uh, potentially go out of their way to tell other people when they disagree, the compliant person prefers to stay back, gather all the information first, and sort of confirm or deny their suspicions before they exhibit any judgment. So they're known for being analytical, critically minded, uh, a bit pensive. 